Egg, you want some egg? Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new vlog today. Do you know where we're going today? Egg! Can you say the zoo? The zoo. Yeah, we're going to the zoo, we're going to Singapore Zoo, which Worldwide. I had no expectations of Singapore Worldwide. Zoo. I'd seen, I hadn't been on the website. Worldwide. I hadn't, you wanna go on a ride? Maybe. I hadn't been on the Instagram, I hadn't seen any photos of it whatsoever. Worldwide. And then last night in bed, Lucy showed, started showing me a few photos and the map of Singapore Zoo. And it is vast, it is huge. Yeah, the lift. And it looks super impressive, almost as impressive as the lifts here at the Holiday Inn Atrium. Uh, that is where we're staying right now. We're about to get our breakfast. They kindly invited us to stay for two nights. They kindly invited us to stay here for a couple of nights. And we're having a great stay so far. Lucy has gone to get some breakfast for Coda. And then we're gonna jump in. Yeah, your egg, your egg's coming. Then we're gonna jump in a grab and yeah, head over to Singapore Zoo. Very excited for today. It is a holiday here today. It's a Monday, but it's a public holiday. And the queue just to get in, the grab just dropped us off here in the car park and we had to wait a little while to actually get in. So. I'm guessing it's gonna be super busy inside, but uh, yeah, let's see. We finally made it into the park, super busy today, but it's a very big park, so I'm hoping that as people like walk along, it's gonna spread out a little bit and it'll feel a bit less chaotic. But first impressions, super green, lovely open spaces. I've not yet seen a cage. It's all been very like small little fencing areas and it doesn't feel like the animals are stuck in small cages at all, which is always a good sign. No, it the lion's like got a nice space. Just sort of roam around. Yeah, the lion here coming towards us right now. But yeah, very happy to be here and there's a lot of shade luckily. So I wore the smallest possible outfit I could wear today because of how hot it's been in Singapore. There's sort of as, as, small, as, as less as I could wear uh, without getting some funny looks. So I'm much more prepared than we were at Universal when I wore jeans. Um, are these pelicans? I oh, think we've come massive. to the dinosaurs first of all. I have no idea. What? They're so big. This is like in Finding Nemo, isn't it? When it's like, um, duck. I'm not a duck, I'm a pelican. Yeah, this is crazy because we're coming up to the orangutans now and it is all open so I don't know why they don't try and get out on the other trees but it looks like they don't over loads of big fences and stuff. There's just huge rhinos just in front of us. This is the best zoo I've ever been to. It's amazing. What is it, Coda? What is it? Rhino. Rhino. Oh, you like rhinos, don't you? crazy all the animals are so close to each other but also so kind of free so we're coming up to wow coming up to a lion now and there's I, we just heard it and it was super loud unless it was yeah not a real sound like a sound effect but So we have made our way around the zoo area. We're now heading into the River Wonders, River Wonders which is the kind of aqua, aqua kind of sea life section of Mandai. And like any good attraction, there is a Starbucks right on site. So we have, because it's so hot, we've got ourselves some cold brew coffee and we're gonna have a little tiny coffee pit stop I think we may even get some lunch here. They've got some different food options. So we'll see what we can find and refuel a little bit before heading into the next section of the park. But such a good day so far. It got less busy as we went around. But the humidity in Singapore, can we talk about the humidity oh, for a second? Insane. It's not even that hot temperature wise. Yes, thank you. Thank you. The temperature's not crazy. It's like 
31, which is more than doable, but it's just so humid, like you can't breathe. It feels like you're in a sauna. There's no break, there's no wind. So we're just like dripping with sweat. So coming into here for a second is just so neat. Cheers. Cheers. Hello guys, I know we're currently in Singapore at the zoo when you're watching this video, but interrupting this vlog from our home back in England. Today I wanted to quickly show you guys a new feature in our lounge and it's a company who are actually sponsoring today's video called Homery. Our lounge has been missing something for a little while. We haven't managed to find it until now. We've been living here over a year and it's taken us this long to find the perfect coffee table. It may seem like a small thing, but that's like the centerpiece of our lounge. We've got a lovely dining room area, we've got a nice sofa, but there was a big open space in the lounge that we wanted to fill and we found the perfect coffee table. So behind me right now, I'm gonna reveal it. Ta-da! What do we think, guys? That wasn't a very good reveal, was it? Let me show you in better detail. But I am super happy with it. In an ideal world, we would fill it with beautiful things like candles and delicate vases and flowers. We have a very destructive two-year-old on our hands at the moment, and I'm not gonna do that. But in the future, I look forward to styling this properly. <laughs> but for now, I think it's just beautiful. It's a perfect height for our low-down sofa, so we can actually even put our legs on it and use it as a little footrest in the evening. So very, very happy with that. In terms of um, building it, it took me like five minutes or something. It's pretty much came built and the drawers are already in. I just had to build the little stand underneath it, but super easy to build. Quality feels really good. It's this kind of concrete effect. So it looks a bit like concrete. It's a bit sort of mottled and I love the color. The color's perfect. That's what I was struggling with, uh, finding the right color for this room. It's this kind of beigey, gray, grayish, I would call it, like a cross between beige and gray. And I really like it. We've got some storage drawers just here. It's obviously very handy. I haven't actually filled them out yet. I think we've got some bits in here yeah we're gonna start leaving like remote controls and stuff in it so that it's uh, out of the way and makes the room look a lot cleaner and I think I really like this part the most here at the back it's a cutout that almost makes it look like it's floating so if you look back here when you come into the room it just looks really beautiful and it finishes off this room perfectly it's exactly what we were looking for this actually arrived super fast so once we put the order through they've got a selection of items on their website that are in this like 48 hour dispatch which basically means that you get them really fast really really fast so yeah super super happy with that we're going to leave a link below to this product but feel free to use our discount code which is going to be down below as well and you can have a little shop for yourself because they've got loads of stuff in there we actually bought our tv stand from homery and this white chair down here was from them as well so really cool company we're very happy with our new coffee table feel free to go and check it out below uh, or have a look at some of the other items and please enjoy the rest of the vlog let's get back on the plane let's get back to singapore and finish our day at the zoo. Is it close? No. No, it's I put his shoes on the wrong feet. Poor thing, he was just running around. And I was thinking, why is he running like that? Oh. Wrong shoes, wrong feet. some lunch here at the kind of like canteen area very busy and all the food is panda themed so here we have a panda bao bun with some chicken and another one with what's in that red bean red beans no <laughs> like red bean paste oh right okay <laughs> red beans should we go over there see how many kites we're picking eye off okay we need the eye that tastes of nothing there you go Now we can have a peaceful post-walk, post-lunch stroll along this river walk here. Probably the most calm part of the day, I would say. That's nice, isn't it? Really nice. Now it feels like we're in Asia again. It hasn't felt like that yet. Today. Yeah, it's true, yeah. Okay guys, that was an experience. Um, we just experienced our first torrential downpour in Singapore whilst we were out walking along the street. So we are soaked. 
Um, anyway, amazing day. It's a few hours later now, as you can probably tell. Amazing day at Singapore Zoo. I would recommend that to anyone visiting. I feel like the animals were... I have never seen a wildlife place like that or a zoo where the animals are so free. It really felt kind of immersive. There wasn't like many cages and it felt like the animals had a big space. And from a few things around the park that we were reading, it seems like they do a lot to help the wildlife and there's a lot of good that they do. So then we got home, we decided to go out for dinner. We went to Chinatown for dinner, which was such a cool area. We've never been to Chinatown in Singapore before, just walking through the streets. There's just so much to look at, so many restaurant choices and options. We found a restaurant and it was, it actually been featured on a big YouTube channel, which was cool. And there were loads of people in there, great reviews on Google. We went in, really friendly lady in there, helped us order and we had a really, really nice meal and we shared a little beer as well, which on this trip, if you've been watching all these vlogs, um, we really have not been drinking at all on these trips because we've been up early, traveling, moving around. We need to feel our best. Daily vlogging is no joke. So um, but yeah, that washed down our food really, really nicely and the food itself was delicious. We got some sweet and sour pork. We got some black pepper beef and some chicken noodles, which were just delicious. I could have eaten about 10 times more than we did eat. And then yeah, got stuck in the rain on the way home. So thanks so much for watching this vlog. If you made it all the way to the end, please leave a comment, say hi. Let us know if you're coming to Singapore, if you live here, if you've been here before, if you've never been, you want to visit, or if you don't want to visit, you've seen this video and you're like, no, that's not for me. But if it is, you probably haven't made it to the end of the video. So please subscribe to the channel if you are new. We've got so many travel videos, so many different countries, so much going on. And we're now starting to plan the next like six to 12 months. And it's, it's looking like a lot of fun, guys. So if you did like today's video and you are new around here, please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we will see you very soon in another Daily Juice. Goodbye.